And what up everybody, welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY culture. And I was going to try to do a YouTube live stream, but I didn't realize that I can't do one. I don't know what the requirements are, but that's going to be something I'm going to look into because why not? I just thought be more spontaneous and just go ahead and do that shit. But today I just got some zine mail that I feel like we should go through. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this first one right here is from Chris Chaos, the homie, the infamous writer of the porn shop clerk zine that got hella traction to the channel. A lot of the perverts were hella happy to, to see porn shop clerk. So let's see what Chris sent. Boom. Grunge. Oh shit, is that Nirvana? Yeah, Chris Noah Selleck, Dave Grohl, Kurt Cobain. A story of high school in the 90s. So, sounds like Chris and me are probably around the same age. I have a Don Lugo senior attitude. wonder if that's supposed to be Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. Better look at this. like the print quality on this. Chapter 1. So this is kind of a more formal uh, looking uh, story. Looks like it's more uh, linear, right? Whereas the porn shop clerk was kind of sporadic and just kind of talking about the events and emotions and thoughts of working there. This seems to be broken up by, um, yeah, by the years of school. Yeah, senior year. <laughs> Eulogy. It goes all his info right there. So I definitely will be reading and reviewing this. And let's see what this one is. Always a fan of the buttons. I wonder what size button this is. Because this is not a one inch. Chris, if you see this video, let me know what size this is. Razor Books. That's a dope name for a company right there. Let's see what we got. Once again, I like the print quality on the, those opening pages. Had it upside down, but it's hard to tell with the ink blot. It's called Mental. It reads, LA in a mental hospital right now. Would you know it? I would run into someone I knew here. I guess I have friends everywhere. I am super excited to read this because uh, reading Porn Shop Clerk, like I said, one of the things about the way Chris writes is that you get a sense of it. Like you really definitely feel as though you're in whatever environment it is he's writing about. At least that's what it was with the Porn Shop Clerk. So I'm wondering if that translates as well for, you know, the mental institution that he's talking about. Um, so definitely I can't wait to check this out, man. So, Chris, thank you so much for sending this in to me. I can't wait to read and review. Boom. Then we got this. Let's see. How do we open this, sucker? Hmm. Let's see. Looks like I'm going to need a knife for this. Boom. Problem solved. We got a knife right here. That's my wife. I don't know what she dropped. I get nervous doing things like this. And I get it, they want to make it so no one can steal my stuff. But I don't want to cut whatever's in here. <laughs> ah. Ah. That shit is nerve-wracking. Damn it. And, I, I, and me not knowing that the homie is a professional mailer. Look at this shit. Cardboard, so it doesn't fuck up. Yeah, this is the homie One Last Day. That's his Instagram handle. And I think that's the name of his comic book that he does. Ugh. As Feral Publication grows, I do plan to eventually start doing more formal comic book printing. And this is definitely how we're going to mail these suckers out. Because this shit is amazing and you knew damn well they wasn't going to bend it or fold it because the post office wouldn't be able to. So thank you. Uh, the homie's name is Adam. Appreciate it. Woo! What is all this? 
Love that. I definitely got to cut this out of the bag and keep that sucker. Uh-oh, stickers. You know, stickers go to the wife. Holy shit, we got a bunch of stickers. Yay. <laughs> As you guys can hear my wife, she's ecstatic for all these Mr. T stickers. What the hell? He didn't make these. I don't think he made these. I think these are some old school shit. Oh, he sent a bunch of mini comics. Another ice... Another iced tea, another <laughs> Mr. T. Land of Knox. Looks like a super traditional mini comic. Yeah, eight panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's considered to be like the more traditional mini comics. Oh, he sent a bunch. I'm digging this printing too, man. And I'm wondering if this is Rizzo Graph, if they're just, or how did he do this to get it to look like that so uh, worn and graded? Right? Because it kind of has a look of like a, a lineal print. Adam, if you see this, let us know in the show notes how the hell you printed these because they look dope. Boom. Don't give up. I won't. Larger zine. Yeah, this is... Uh... Definitely feeling that. One last day. This is what I bought, but I, I don't remember... I don't know what this is. But holy shit, look at that. This is why I bought this sucker right here. Can't wait to peep that out. Another one last day. I'm wondering if these are the zines that he was doing prior to full-blown uh, jumping into something a little larger. Damn, but I appreciate this whole big-ass bag of goodies, man. And the homie has a YouTube channel as well, so you guys make sure to check that out. Let me show you guys a quick clip. Because he does a lot of the same stuff that I'm doing. So peep it out. I found it'd be like a collector's bundle. Similar to the uh, Strat that I talked about in the Diamond um, video before. But what this is, this is kind of like more proof to my point a little bit. He doesn't rail against Diamond or anything in here. But he started, in, this is a horror anthology series is what it is. This came with this nice sign piece and this explains a little bit of the history of night cry i think he is making those uh with the with the lino cut because that's what this is right here and then there's another one the other one but yeah uh i don't want to destroy this sticker uh there's no nothing i can do i guess nah <laughs> goodbye sticker that's too bad uh Boom! This is what I got right here. So this is Blood Desert, uh, book one, two, three, and four. And this is number five, and I believe this is number six. Yeah, six, six, six. So this is what I purchased. And uh, I got up to number six, and shit, when I get more moolah on my hands, I got to buy Milk and Honey, uh, issue number six. And then I got to get the rest of uh, the homie's Blood Desert. But that's what I got, man. And damn it, if this goodie bag isn't an amazing fucking bag of goodies. So once again, thank you to the homie Chris, and thank you to Adam uh, for, for sending these in. I appreciate you guys, and... Uh, Beyond that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.